Been at the gym for 15 minutes before some dude approached me as I'm trying to get cardio in, waved and pointed at my shirt until I yanked my earbuds out loudly and asked him what he wanted. You play? Nope. Earbuds went back in, volume all the way up. Nah, you just have a poor attitude. People are just a tight community and we always get excited to see each other. From just how you explained it, sounds like you got offended from a simple wave. Yep, that, that's pretty much exactly what happened. I mean, I've worn shirts like this and people literally at the gym have stopped and talked to me because that's how normal people interact. But when you're just so negative all the time, you think the worst of everything and you make a simple conversation into some weird big deal when really this man was just trying to relate. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash facepalm. Let's get into it. Have you ever been to a restaurant that doesn't give you the change when you pay with cash? My bill was $47.20. I gave the waitress a hundred bucks and she only gave me back $53. I called over the manager, which was our waitress. She said, we don't usually carry change. I told her to give me my hundred back and I'll pay with a credit card. 80 cents wouldn't end me, but it's a principle. If they do this to everyone that pays cash over a year, that could be a lot of money in their pocket. I'd redo your math. Yeah, definitely redo your math because she actually gave you an extra 20 cents. Didn't short you 80 cents. So before you go rage on your random servers, please make sure you can at least do second grade math. Jennifer Lopez says men under the age of 33 are really just useless. Yeah, by all means, let's get relationship advice from a woman that collects engagement rings like she's Thanos. <laughs> yes, fair point, fair point. But I don't know. I don't necessarily think she's wrong. I mean, my dad's in his 50s and he's still pretty useless. So remembering when I moved out of my first studio flat and I left a box of chocolates and some nice coffee on the side as a gift to the building manager. And then I got charged 20 for the removal of leftover personal belongings. Oh, you know, this is just how they try to nickel and dime you for everything. It is really just mad annoying. It's like you went out of your way to do something nice. And honestly, they probably didn't even look at it. Probably just like, oh, you see that? We can get an extra 20. Oh, all right, write it down, write it down. It's just, dude. Just chill. Somebody tried to do something nice for you. You don't have to find a way to ruin it all of the time. There's no better way to get in shape than to prepare for a triathlon. This guy will tell you that. I'm that guy. And no, I won't tell you that. Yeah, there's plenty of good ways to get in shape. And as this guy says, because I actually waited till this guy responded, triathlon training isn't necessarily the best way to do it. Does that mean you should never try to get in shape? No. If anything, it should just let you know. Hey, there's lots of ways I can get in shape. I'm going to try one. Psh, your 12 years of med school doesn't mean anything. I birthed this child and haven't left their side since. I'm their primary source of nutrition. I watch them breathe that night and I can tell by a cry what they need. So yes, I do know my baby better than you, Doc. Get out of here. Yeah, and I'm the only person who's driven my car for the past 12 years, but I still call a mechanic if it breaks down. <laughs> oh, that was, a, that was a pretty fancy way there to just absolutely roast this chick and be like, yeah, your logic really doesn't make sense here, sweetie. But it's cool that you think that a doctor going to school for 12 years has less knowledge than you. No, no, simply they don't. Now I understand you might not have liked what they said and probably because you saw some weird Facebook news article, but realize that he is much more intelligent than you or she, and they're much more well studied than you. And you should really listen to them. No English word has a double O except good. Prove me wrong. Book. Try reading one. You know, these posts are honestly just like 
bait posts to make people rage because there's nobody that couldn't think of another word that has a double O. I mean, seriously, soon. Oh, wow, that was so hard. It's like everybody knows that. And this is literally just a bait post trying to get people to rage. And clearly it worked because it got 551,000 comments. So, I mean, I guess mission accomplished if you're that guy. But if ruining your outward appearance towards everyone and appearing super low IQ is what you want, good job. Good job, man. You got us. Can you make a male babysitter pay child support? I'm a single mom going to college with my sister. We currently rent an apartment together. A couple weeks ago, I asked my neighbor, a trustworthy guy, if he could watch the kids for two hours while I went to class and my sister wasn't home. And he agreed. If he babysits and doesn't accept pay, can I get him for child support because he took on a fatherly role? I'm sure I can convince a court that he has accepted a fatherly role. Oh my gosh, you are the worst kind of person on this planet. You try to take advantage of somebody's kindness and then turn it into money. It's like it, he was doing you a favor by saying, oh, you know what? You're going through some times. I'm just a nice neighbor. I'm going to help you out. And you turn his kindness and make him just probably turn absolutely rageful because you go, oh yeah, well, I know you were kind to me, but... I also can see that I could probably get more money out of you, and that's worth a lot more to me. How about, I have an idea. If you need support, get it from the baby's father, not from your kind neighbor. The people that are doing this trend, literally getting a few hundred, or if they're lucky, thousands of views. But guess what? When it goes terribly, they can't walk anymore. Yeah, that's a great idea, guys. Let's let's do a trend where we're going to risk our ability to walk for a few views. It's like, at first people are pouring hot wax into their eyes. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go blind so that I can get a couple views on TikTok. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna break my back so I can get a few views on TikTok. I mean, come on, guys, think just a little bit before you do these things, please, please, I'm begging you. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash faceball. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra. And it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.